Papke joins us live. Who's the target of Moore's claims, John? Well, Guy, about a dozen defendants altogether. The group includes the Highway 31 Super PAC, a few uh, political strategy companies, and also a, a large group of individuals as well. The bottom line that Roy Moore says he wants to set the facts straight and make these people pay for what he calls lies and political TV ads. Now, Moore faced a series of allegations during last fall's U.S. Senate race of uh, sexual misconduct in Gadsden years earlier that he denies. In today's lawsuit that was filed just in the last hour, he pointed out that many political ads about the allegations were intentionally false. Specifically, he said the defendants made claims that he was banned from the Gadsden Mall for misconduct there back during the 1980s when there were statements from former mall officials that that never happened. That the content of the advertisements disseminated during the 2017 U.S. Special Senate election was false. The ads were misleading, they misrepresented statements, misrepresented statements of facts, and they intended to mislead residents. Now, I also asked the attorney in this case, did they find any direct connection between the defendants in this lawsuit and Senator Doug Jones's campaign? She said at this point, there's no way to know for sure. Reporting live in Gadsden, John Papke, WVTM 13.